Welcome back to the show. Surviving COVID controlling risk factors is a brand new series with medical experts from Doctors Hospital Health System, giving us critical information we need to know and maintain good health during this pandemic. Today, we are discussing diabetes with Dr. Sheena Antonio Colley, Chief Medical Officer of Doctors Hospital, a mainstay here in Bahamas at Sunrise and Medical Director of DHW and Dr. Ariane Davis-Simmons, endocrinologist. I always have to say that word so slowly. Good morning, doctors. Welcome back to Bahamas at Sunrise, albeit not in person, but so good to see you once again. Good morning. Good morning. I am so happy that we're talking now a little bit more consistently. Of course, we know that you do this on a daily basis, but certainly in the media sphere of maintaining good health. It's something that we should be talking about all the time. Uh, but uh, Dr. Antonio Colley, um, Dr. Ariane Davis-Simmons obviously is an asset to this doctor's hospital team as we talk particularly about diabetes. Um, speak a little bit more to the role that she plays and obviously uh, what she's been able to bring to the table. All right, so Dr. Ariane Davis-Simmons is a board certified endocrinologist um, who trained at the University of Maryland, and uh, she did um, internal medicine as well as, as endocrinology fellowship there. And she's an expert in diabetes care. So basically, you know, we try to practice as much as possible best practices at Doctors Hospital. And Dr. Davis Simmons has been paramount in keeping our patients healthy and safe who are diabetic especially very severely uh, yeah, people who are very difficult to control. And so Dr. Davis Simmons brings a wealth of knowledge to our armamentarium of experts. Right. Yeah, excellent. I, Dr. Davis Simmons, I didn't realize you were a Terrapin. I'm going to assume that's a Maryland Terrapin from the University of Maryland. Uh, obviously, I speak about that biasly so, but that's another conversation for another time. <laughs> Um, but, but people with diabetes, they obviously face a higher chance of experiencing serious complications from COVID-19. And it's, why is that? So as you stated, so patients with diabetes are not at increased risk of contracting the virus, but if they do unfortunately get it, they tend to have worse outcomes, um, meaning prolonged hospitalizations requiring ICU admission, uh, prolonged ventilation, intubation, and, and unfortunately death. Um, and the reason for this is multifactorial. So the, the high sugars itself plays a big role um, because high blood sugar leads to weakening of the body's immune system. So you're not as, as able um, to cope with the illness and fight off the illness. Uh, and then secondly, with type two diabetes, which is the most common form in our, in our environment and, and overall, um, these individuals tend to have other comorbidities that put them at, at increased risk of poor outcome, um, obesity, um, high blood pressure, cardiovascular disease, lung disease. Um, so. Yeah, well, let's talk a little bit about those risk factors. I mean, obviously uh, is, is as simple as trying to do the opposite to decrease risks. Yeah, so it's it's going to be multifactorial. Um, so if you do unfortunately develop the the or contract the virus, blood sugar control is going to be paramount. Um, and even if you didn't have this prior to contracting the virus, getting it at any point uh, during your illness is very important in terms of control. Um, so that is going to be taking medications in a timely manner. Um, getting uh, adequate nutrition in, choosing the right health, right foods. If you are convalescing at home, even getting a little bit of exercise in. And if, if you're unable to reach your blood sugar targets, at that point, you want to reach out to your medical team, your primary care physician, so that you can tweak uh, medications and get some advice on how to achieve those blood sugar goals. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, we, we hear about, you know, technology and innovation all the time. Is there, is there anything new within uh, the sphere of diabetes care uh, that can be useful during this time, particularly as it relates to innovation? Yeah, so there's a lot of great free apps out there that help with uh, diabetes management. So you have like Glucose Buddy, you have Diabetes M, which are coaching apps that help patients to um, 
monitor their blood sugar and give them advice on how to tweak lifestyle or even make medication suggestions so that they could discuss with their physician. Uh, and then uh, secondly, we, we do have uh, continuous blood sugar monitors, which help patients in, in monitoring their blood sugar, because that's very important to make sure you're staying within those targets. Uh, and locally, we have uh, you know two types available, and that would be the Freestyle Libre or the Dexcom uh, G6, which are devices that patients administer, that place themselves, they place it on themselves, and it lasts about anywhere from 10 to 14 days and samples the blood sugar every five minutes. Uh, again, to let them know where they are in their targets. And when I say targets, um, we're talking about American Diabetes Association goal blood sugar numbers, which is 80 to 130 in the morning before you eat, and two hours after meal, you should be less than 180. So patients should be striving to achieve those numbers. Okay, excellent. Always good to have a good doctor on the show. Um, it's always educational. Um, Dr. Antonio Carly, uh, Doctors Hospital Healthcare System, obviously has been um, you know, right at the forefront of not only this pandemic, but certainly, um, you know, healthcare in the country, uh, your best practices obviously make you one of the um, premier healthcare option for those needing um, medical treatment. Uh, just speak a little bit more to, um, you know, to, to the healthcare system, uh, what, what, what positions you would makes you such a, a, a very good option for those persons um, needing medical treatment. And of course, um, you know, it's always good to hear you know, the latest updates regarding where we stand with the COVID response. So doctor's hospital um, healthcare system, we like to say that we are trusted best care now. And basically what we try to do is to provide as um, expert care as possible to the Bahamian public. Um, indeed, we strive to be that healthcare system that people can rely on and that, uh, you know, once again, that would provide that level of care that's necessary. As far as the COVID-19 response, as you know, Doctors Hospital has been at the forefront of that since day one. Um, first of all, with treatment of some of the sickest patients afflicted by COVID-19 at our Blake Road facility. And we have been happy to come alongside the government of the Bahamas to provide that level of care for our patients also to, to help to decompress the public system in order to facilitate these patients that need that level of care. And then in identification, we have um, acquired PCR technology. As you know, PCR is the gold standard for testing for COVID-19. And we have a robust program for testing of COVID-19. And we actually have an outreach program we test in several of the family islands through various clinics like the Klein Medical in um, Grand Bahama. There's a clinic in Eleuthera in, in Exuma. And we are continuing to do our outreach to the family islands so that we could provide timely testing. Because of course, you know, we need to know what's happening with the virus. People who are affected need to know right away whether they are so that they can take the precautions, they can isolate, et cetera. And just to continue to say that um, the best way to decrease your, your risk factors for COVID-19 is to follow the advice of the health professionals, wash your hands, wear your mask, and your social distancing as well. And of course, um, try to keep that immune system as boosted and as healthy as possible. Uh, Dr. Absolutely. Dr. Thank you so much for joining us here on Bahamas at Sunrise. We were talking about the fictional character of the Black Panther earlier this morning and the fact that how um, uh, Chadwick Boseman would have passed away. Listen, I also wanna say you guys are also heroes. Um, thank you for the work that you continue to do on behalf of our country. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Bahamas at Sunrise, we've been with Dr. Sheena Antonio Colley. Chief Medical Officer of Doctors Hospital and Medical Director of DHW, and Dr. Ariane Davis Simmons, endocrinologist, Doctors Hospital Healthcare System. You're watching Bahamas at Sunrise. We'll be right back.